Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely, and I am a Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Today, I want to talk to you about Mars going direct, and it's there's a lot of mental confusion in the air. Um, there's actually several energies that are coming in from levels that you may not be aware of. Uh, so these are levels that are the old paradigm level of the um, sometimes the uh, third, fourth, and fifth, and sometimes sixth dimensional levels of people's experience. It's your journey. The journey hasn't stopped, but it is getting very confusing and overwhelming for people. The train has pulled into the station and it has lurched, and you might feel that lurch with some queasiness in your stomach, a headache. You might feel head spinning. In other words, you could genuinely say some of this can make your head spin, that there's so much going on, and it that's quite literal. Um, are you feeling that? Yeah, you probably are, because if I feel it, usually a lot of people feel it, and that's why I talk about it. This can affect people in your family. It can affect your kids. It can affect the person you're with. It can affect... Um, parent, you know, your parents, and it mostly has to do with the past. So I like to envision it like this, because this is what I've been shown, is that gradually people have been brought to certain what I call way stations. Now we call those station, that's when the energy stations or is stationary. In other words, it's not doing this or that or anything. The thing about Mars is Mars is foundational, but it's also the leader of the tower energy. Like when those foundations start to crumble, dissolve, break away, large chunks fall, life as you knew it, or the life you thought you might have had starts to really break down. And this is throwing people off because there are a lot of breakups happening. Um you may not be able to push off of all the emotions because this runs deep. This is deep karmic stuff. This is a part of karmic balancing and how we've all left each other sort of in the dust in the past. How do you become the phoenix that rises up from the ashes? So in this video, I want to talk to you about Mars Goes Direct with Santa Claus because this is finally a point where you can actually integrate your template so that you can grab some of that benevolent um, energy that is divine. And at the physical level, it can feel like Santa, what I call Santa Claus energy. In other words, it's very aligned with um, Jupiter. It's very benevolent. It's mag magnanimous. It wants to grant wishes. It wants to give gifts. That's important. It's especially important for women because you've been doing a lot to actually grant the wishes in the other direction. Now, you have not always had lives as the gender you are. And that's kind of the kicker because in order to be here and in order to alchemize in a new way, you need the other energetic in you. It's in you. You can't avoid this. If you're a woman, the masculine side of you is feeling some of this. If you're a man, the masculine side of you is feeling things while they're affecting the feminine side. You see, it's just such a two-way street that people don't realize. How do you sweeten up the masculine energy? It happens from the inside out, and it happens actually in a very deep place, and it's a place that's essential to you. And it is linked to several of your body systems. There are internal connection points that you may not learn in other classes. In my classes, I not only teach you how to channel it, get the channels open, and channel love deep inside. Because channeling messages only go so far. Channeling love deep inside is what builds you up, what restores you, is what refreshes you. And we got lots of it to pull in, okay? Pulling in and anchoring. 
A lot of people think that they're anchoring this to the earth. If you're not anchoring it to your body properly, it doesn't matter how many trips you make to some ancient site with the well-intentioned plan of anchoring something to sites that have been abandoned from long ago. The energy that's there is usually of tourists with good intentions, and there's nothing wrong with that, except it is not the same as pulling in your own fabulous soul energy into your body instead of dealing with vortices that are all a part of someone else's stuff. Again, nothing wrong with it, but it depends where you're at. The next thing is, what is this energy of Mars going direct supposed to help people with? Well, it's supposed to help with priorities. And that means what's close to home. This means what's happening in your neck of the woods, in your country, in your state, in your city, in your province, in your neighborhood, in your community, in your own house, in your own family, with your own people, with people you might have contentious energy with. None of us are getting out of that karmic balancing or karmic repayments, even if the contracts can now be gotten rid of. Any kind of soul contracts, karma contracts, you have to do it in a proper way, which is decimating it, and it is maintaining, and it is building new. That's the thing that people don't realize, is you are in a simultaneous energy that means build new. Now, one of the things that has happened in the past is we've built on top of each other. Okay, people try to rebuild their next relationship on top of some old relationship without ever addressing all of that baggage there. That's the thing that gets people upset as they get older. That's the thing that gets people upset if it's a younger person dating an older person and they're like, God, they already have kids. What am I going to do? Where do I fit in with all this priorities? What's close to home? When you feel and you feel better and you feel loved, some of that stuff is not the same issue. It gets right-sized. Some of this is intended, what I teach is intended to take these things that seem disproportionately insurmountable and daunting and heavy, stop trying to carry the mountain with you and climb the mountain. That's your ascension. Your ascension is what is vitally important, and it's your body, because that's your vehicle. A lot of people don't want to acknowledge it because they don't like their body, or their body has failed them, or their body's been abused. I help you to get rid of that. So it's as though gradually nobody has touched you. Nobody has gotten in there and, you know, told you awful things. It's going to be such a non-issue, but you still have to continue the climb. This is going to help women in finances and with burdens. So let's face it. Many times women are left in the position of being a single mom with limited resources. And in the past, it's been even worse. She's been shunned. She's been disgraced. She's been shamed. She's been run out of town. She's had to do underhanded things just to put food on the table. Her body for a crust of bread to feed children that nobody wants and people shun anyway. This has been a big part of the past. It has been chaining and we need to elevate it. We need to get people out of that where the burden is um, somehow well cared for and it doesn't feel like a burden. It begins to feel like a blessing a blessing for someone's life because there's another life there. Part of the masculine energy is acknowledging that they've been contributors to life as we know it, including babies and children and children they've had to leave behind and sometimes children that have been abandoned. If you continually have your children taken, it leaves a scar. It leaves a scar. So women in finances... And how that plays out and all of the dynamics that are in the chakras that have to, you know, do with that. Many times there are blocks there, but they can be removed so that the person can ascend and move into a level of thriving and have proper sweetened up energy of love to support them. 
What is the next? What has been taken or stolen from the masculine? So what has been taken or stolen when you've been in masculine mode? What has been taken or stolen when you've been the masculine? What feels like it has been taken or stolen? Have you been disenfranchised? Have you been not allowed to do something? So these things are coming up with these mini revolutions, these tiny rebellions. I say tiny because they're not really tiny, but they're tiny by comparison to a world war. The 11-11 gate was about getting out the wars, getting out the fighting energy, getting out the, I will kill you now, or I'm going to kill it at work. Okay, like, that kind of um, aggression is very scary for a lot of people, even if it has been necessary, even if it's been entrained in people. There's a better way now, and the way is not in duality. The way is using your higher divine connections of your new twin flame body. So what's been taken? I mean, let's be straight up about it. Limbs have been taken. Amputations have had to be made. There is a high cost of war. There is a rebuilding. There's a building up. There's a building up of neighborhoods. There's a building up of, you know, what's happened in places when there have been gang warfare or cartels or um, just, I mean, we could look recently at some of the, you know, non-peaceful things that have happened. Putting a bad name to a lot of people when it's just a small group of people having their rebellion like rebellious teenagers. Yeah, there's a cost there. Just like with the teenage mind that has no impulse control. It's immature. It only knows two ways. How would you like to develop the expansion of your light body so that your more mature solutions can come into place? I'll tell you another thing. Children. So recently, we have had actually just over the weekend, and I can always feel these things building up. When it starts happening at the physical level, it's like ready to be addressed properly. Kidnappings. We had two Amber Alerts. I'm sure there were more. And these Amber Alerts are because a child has been kidnapped. That's what they're called here. Now, one was a custodial parent. Uh, one was a parent who did not have custody, but it was a what they call a custodial abduction. In other words, the dad somehow felt slighted or disenfranchised or disowned from his own child for whatever reason. And these are the hard things. This is when the masculine comes down to earth and he's like, hey, wait a minute, something happened or somebody took my stuff or somebody else is going to go father my kid or I need to be a part of the picture. Or, you know, I can't just pay. I need to be in there. I want to be a dad or I want to be, you know, part of their life. There are many people that feel like this. There's also people that back up and they're like, don't ask me. Like, I got enough problems. I got to go, you know, I got my habits and I got to support those. Like, I, I just wanted a little bit of fun. I didn't want an 18-year burden of a child. And these things are in the mix that have to settle up. These are coming out and how it plays out is whatever has been taken or stolen. There is a high price of love. The high price of love when it fades out because it translates as things like, not Santa Claus, it translates as things like domestic abuse, domestic violence, drugs, alcohol, rehab. Um, I mean, there's a vicious circle that things go around. It's not because people don't have a heart. It's because duality. Sometimes there's like no way and people feel like they have no recourse. But that is one of the things about stationing is that you are able to get some things from the other part of the higher divine masculine energy. And let's face it, people call a you know, person a DM, a divine masculine. If they're not acting divine, it's not divine. Okay, straight up. If someone, likewise, if someone is a DF, a divine feminine, if they're not acting and behaving divine and putting in the effort it takes to make it effortlessly graceful and gracious, it's just not. 
It's just not there. And it, it is easy to be flawed in these bodies. We all have character flaws. We have tempers. We have hiding. We have escaping. Okay. This is a part of really being real for the next decade is there's no more escapism being allowed. So if you would like support to get the things in your life that you need to get yourself to that higher level, to get yourself to that new ascension level, because that's what I've been calling it for the past two to three years. Okay. Some people are there. They are in the new ascended level. And some people are just now finding out about it. You are leaving an entire thing behind you. And it's heavy. Don't let it drag off your butt. Because if you have lower back pain or shoulder pain, you're going to know, or head pain, you're going to know things are dragging off of you. And I can help that unhook from you. So join or have a session and look for the links below. Thanks so much.